everybody, Professor Snart here checking in as we get right towards the end of our course. It's been a little while since I've touched base here, at least in a video format. I've uh, sent a few emails out and just keeping everyone on track. I feel like once it gets a little deeper into the semester, you get kind of the routine and you know how things are going and um, it's less, maybe less useful for me to always be hounding you about due dates and stuff like that. But here I am, hounding you about due dates. Speaking of which, we have some due dates. Okay. So I'm recording this on the Thursday, the 27th, <clears throat> about 30 degrees colder than it was on Wednesday, the 26th, which sucks, but oh well. Um, and we're just finishing up our final workshop, the open genre where you're picking whatever style you wanted to write in. Um, or not, yeah, style, but also genre. Um, and I know some people gravitated to a, a genre that they were comfortable with and wanted to pursue that, which is great. Others chose something that... Uh, Maybe they didn't feel comfortable or felt like they wanted more exposure to, more practice. Also great. I think both of those are equally valid choices. Had a little bit of extra time uh, in terms of the turnaround just because the, the workshop groups were a little bigger. Although, as I mentioned before, um, the, the amount of work you as a, a reviewer, peer reviewer, have to do depends, I think, less on the number of people and more just on what genre people end up writing in. Or it's sort of a mix of those two. So now we turn around to our last due date, uh, next Thursday. Probably more time than you really need for this, but because it's a reflection piece, I do want there to be time enough for you, again, if you use your time wisely, to, to not feel rushed to think about really the progress that you've made across our whole course here. And I think I've mentioned before a couple of times that especially with writing, um, even in a 16-week week course, which is a long time, and we've done a lot of work, which you might realize as you start looking back at the various units that we've done and remembering to yourself all of the activities, not to mention the workshops, of course. Um, improvement or improving as a writer is just a really, really long and kind of never-ending process. And I don't mean that in some sort of negative, it'll never be finished sort of a way, but it's kind of empowering to think that we can always become better writers or the more we do it, the better we get. And it's a really sort of incremental thing. So even across our few months together, you might not notice drastic changes in your writing, um, but I think it's still useful to reflect on even some incremental changes or even more importantly some bigger ideas that you might have run into where even if you're not super confident that you're putting them into practice in the most effective way yet, you're still making note for yourself or taking note that um, that these are potential improvements or or new ways that you've learned to think about yourself as a writer or writing itself as a practice, um, what it means to share your work, how different genres operate differently, and what kinds of things they share in common, all of the stuff that we've looked at throughout our 16 weeks together. So the assignment itself is pretty straightforward, down here right at the bottom of our course. I'm uh, encouraging people to do maybe a video essay, they're just more sort of fun to do and interesting to to interact with, especially in our online environment. So there's a video within my video here that you can watch just on how to do a video. But the assignment remains the same regardless of what you do. So it's basically that kind of reflection essay. So what did you learn um, about yourself, about uh, how other writers work? Has your writing changed? You can, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> include final thoughts or comments. The biggest thing though here, as, as you can see, is to ground your discussion, really kind of no matter what direction you take it, in the specific work that you've done for the course. And that's not just things that you've written or workshop pieces. It could be some of the activities that we've done. It could be ways that you've responded to others. It could be ways that others have responded to you. So you're quoting from your individual experience in the course, but that is not always necessarily like the big important things that you've written for the course. It could, some of what you learn comes out of, you know, maybe textbook reading, maybe something that someone replied to you in a discussion board post. So does the writing or recording of this take a whole week? <clears throat> Probably not. But again, I do want to uh, allow people time to really like go back to our units here and take that big picture. Like, what did we do? Oh yeah, we introduced ourselves. Uh, oh yeah, here was the tchotchke thing with the significant object. And then the nice thing about us working in Blackboard as a platform is that all of our work is automatically archived, whether it's basic discussion and reply stuff, 
the actual pieces that you've written uh, that are in the units or in the discussion board or in the workshop discussion boards. Um, it's all kind of contained here, but it can be a little bit of work sort of going back into each thing and thinking, oh, did this resonate with me? Like maybe the rules of creative writing, that would be really important to return to. Um, and then if something struck a chord, then you maybe want to dig a little bit deeper, go into the discussion board and see what did you say about that? What did other people reply to you? In fact, you might even find replies that you hadn't initially seen, which can be useful too. So there's a little more time devoted to this than the actual writing or production of the thing, because I think we need that extra time to do the actual reflection part or digging deeper into the course to find those specifics. You'll also notice that um, at the end of the end, there is a final little survey, just kind of getting your feedback about um, you know, what you liked, what you maybe didn't like, what could that be? I don't even know. Um, you know, just your general take on the course. And um, especially for those who are gonna be around in the, the, the summer and then subsequent fall and even next spring, to look for some of our other COD writing courses. Um, so this one is called, I think, Intro to Creative Writing, but it's not really, uh, it's not so much preparation for other courses or they're not really sequenced in that way. This is just like a multi-genre course. So what you'll find is not that, let's say, English 2252, the poetry writing course, which I teach um, and I'm teaching right now, is necessarily like an advanced poetry course, or you have to be really, really good at poetry, um, or that even 2250, the intro course, is a prereq, which it's not for the 2252 course. Um, all that the, these next courses are are um, focused just on a single genre. So of course in poetry writing we'll cover lots of really broad territory about different kinds of poems and poetic movements and ways to write them and ways to, ways to critique them and sort of how they exist in the world and all that kind of stuff. So there's, it narrows, but I don't want to get the sense that, um, that we just do the same thing over and over and over again. Um, but it's important to understand that you don't need to be looking for like some advanced level of poetry or fiction or creative nonfiction or whatever to take the next course. Um, all you'll be doing is focusing on that genre more specifically. Um, there's courses in the summer, uh, there's courses online like this one was, there's courses in the fall and the spring, so be on the lookout for other of our various creative writing courses. Um, okay, I think that's about it for now, so again, stay on top of our due dates, or due date, basically, now. Notice that our final reflection is still in the form of a discussion board, so looking for you to interact um, through response, right, one last time. We wrap things up basically next week. We'll go back to our due dates here, just so I don't get this wrong. I want to say May 4th, but let's double check. Yeah, Thursday, May 4th. Um, and that would then also kind of spill over into that Sunday for the replies, right? But we need to get that main one done by Thursday. Um, and that's about it for our course. Finish up the little evaluation if you want to do that. And that would be great. As always, you can be in touch with me with questions or concerns, or if you want to follow up about a specific piece of writing, maybe people are interested in publishing and want to know more about that, I'd be happy to talk with you. So uh, don't be shy in reaching out, and hopefully we will see this weather turn back around to that little hint of spring as allergy-ridden as it might have been for many of us um, in the next few days here.